Welcome back to our channel Just Australia. The Northern Territory, designated Area Migration Dharma, has been extended by one year, and it will now remain valid till the 13th of December, 2024. There have also been some important new changes, which will make it easier for NT employers to access the program. Hence in today's video, we will let you know all the new changes that have been added in the Australian NT Dharma, and all you need to know about this new program. So, watch till the end and subscribe to our channel for more on Australia immigration news. The key changes to this new program are 11 new occupations have been included, bringing the total number of eligible occupations to 135. Reduced Temporary Skilled Migration Income Threshold TSMIT, of $55,000 for selected occupations. Simpler and more streamlined pathway to permanent residency, enabling overseas workers to be nominated for the permanent subclass 186 visa after working in the NT in eligible occupations for at least two years full time. What is a Dharma? A Designated Area Migration Agreement Dharma, is a formal agreement between the Australian government and a regional state or territory authority. Dharma permits employers in designated areas to sponsor skilled and semi-skilled overseas workers for positions they are unable to fill with local workers. It is custom made to address current and growing labor market shortages and local terms and conditions of employment. Benefits of the NT Dharma The NT Dharma is a valuable tool for territory employers as it allows them to access the skilled workers they need to fill critical skill shortages. The program also provides overseas workers with the opportunity to live and work in Australia and to gain valuable experience in the Australian workforce. Concessions Available The Northern Territory Designated Area Migration Agreement NT Dharma, provides eligible businesses access to occupations not available through the standard stream. It also provides for English language, age, skill and temporary skilled migration income threshold TSMIT, concessions. All workers employed under the NT Dharma must be employed under Australian employment conditions and be paid no less than the salary provided to an equivalent skilled and experienced Australian worker performing the same job, market salary. In addition to the above, in order to sponsor workers under visa programs such as the NT Dharma, the identified market salary must be at least the temporary skilled migration income threshold TSMIT. This is currently $70,000. The NT Dharma provides a reduced TSMIT of $55,000, made up of monetary salary only, for many occupations. Where a TSMIT concession applies, sponsored workers must be paid at least the reduced TSMIT of $55,000, or the market salary, whichever is higher. Additional changes to the above program are Expansion of eligible occupations the NT Dharma now includes a wider range of eligible occupations, including 24 new occupations in the agriculture, aquaculture, and meat industries. More flexible skills and work experience requirements. The NT Dharma now has more flexible skills and work experience requirements for overseas workers. This means that overseas workers with a wider range of skills and experience will be eligible to work in the territory. Higher age threshold. The NT Dharma now has a higher age threshold for sponsored overseas workers. Overseas workers can now be nominated for the NT Dharma if they are under 50 years of age. Lower English language threshold. The NT Dharma now has a lower English language threshold for trade occupations. This means that overseas workers with lower English language skills will be able to work in certain trade occupations in the territory. The NT Dharma is a dynamic program that is regularly reviewed and updated to meet the changing needs of the territory labor market. The latest changes to the NT Dharma will make it easier for territory employers to access the skilled workers they need and will provide overseas workers with more opportunities to live and work in Australia. We hope this information was very helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more on Australian visa and immigration news.